Hello, Mr. Gazda here. Today we will be looking at a demonstration on capillary action. So what we have here, I have um, 300 milliliters of water in each one of these beakers. And I have these tubes and I'm gonna put different size um, sediment in it. Sand in one and small pebbles in the other. So on this side will be the smaller one. This is uh, sand. This would be like typical East Coast beach sand. You've been at the beach anywhere in the East Coast, um, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey. It's that type of sand. And then on the other side, I'm going to have this, which is basically like really small pebbles. So it's much larger size uh, particles than the sand. So what I have is I have the 200 milliliters of each that I will put into uh, these tubes right here. Okay, there we go, that's satisfying. Okay, so we have that. Now, what I will do is I'm going to basically place, so it's the same amount of water, same amount of sediment. I'll put that in there, like that. And then I will put this in here the same way. And you can see the water rising up from the bottom. There's a, there's a screen on the bottom, which is uh, actually an old uh, piece of t-shirt that I cut. And we see it here as well. We wanna see how high above the um, water line it rises. Okay, so maybe that was about three minutes, the water level uh, of the beakers here, but due to capillary action, the water sort of crept upward in the small spaces to there, in the smaller sediment. This is smaller, this is larger. And the larger ones, notice, it just went up to right there. If you can see it in the video, the line is right there, which is lower than here. So the smaller the sediment, the small the spaces are in between there, the higher up it will go. And let me maybe get a different view of it here. So you could see here, if you see the water level there, that's where the water, um, due to capillarity, moved upward. It did move up a little bit, but over here, you will see it's that much more. Maybe if I zoom out, you see them both. Yes, you can see that there, and then you can see it there. So, hopefully, what you get out of this is how it works, which is the smaller the size of the particles, the more capillary action, the higher it will go and the larger it is, the less it will go. Okay, I'm Mr. Gazda, thank you for watching.